the Eastern Shoshone, born for the Kia'ani clan or the towering house people of the Navajo Nation. And my colleague here is Jessica Hernandez, as he said. Uh, she's a librarian at the FDA, uh, FDA Biosciences Library, and she's a Knowledge River alumna and passing out some information about the program. The Knowledge River program was established in 2001 with support from the Institute of Museum and Library Services and key partners to address the need for more librarians coming from and prepared to serve our country's growing and underserved Latino and Native American populations. The University of Arizona and our partners recognize that LAS professionals who are members of these underserved communities themselves have distinct sociocultural and linguistic skills that are assets to uh, serving these underserved populations and for outreach to these communities. As a national exemplar of diversity recruitment and training, the Knowledge River program is the only graduate school program in the United States that has a focus on the, these two communities, the Latino and Native American communities. We currently have graduated 123 students and we have a 93% retention rate. The success of the program is achieved by involving a broad range of constituents in learning about and promoting services to these groups through a diversity curriculum, oh. through diversity curriculum, service learning opportunities, uh, enrichment activities, and more. So the program recruits an annual cohort of Knowledge River scholars who pursue a master, master's degree in information resources and library science and the selected students must demonstrate strong, a strong combination of knowledge, cultural heritage, commitment relating to Latino and or Native American populations. They must be willing to participate in enrichment activities and be willing to be active uh, participants in our learning community. The Knowledge River Scholars are eligible to receive a financial aid package and opportunities for conference travel, professional development, and mentoring. Financial aid is granted in the form of graduate assistantships, which provide uh, work experience, which is very, very important, uh, tuition, um, salaries, and it also gives them that hands-on work in the partner libraries. Our partner libraries include uh, the Arizona Health Sciences Library, the University of Arizona Libraries, and the Pima County Public Library System. So each year, we have incoming students that become a part of a cohort of students that begin the program together. The students represent diverse cultural, uh, geographic, academic, and professional backgrounds, but they're all united in their interest in serving the, these two communities and to diversity issues in the profession. Uh, the cohort model uh, builds a community of support uh, of students that provide social support to new students and facilitates retention and academic success of the students. And we're now in our 10th cohort, so we've been around for 10 years. All the Knowledge River Scholars take a uh, foundational course together, which provides an introduction to the issues of these two target communities and includes a strong service learning component. Because many of the courses in our school are distance um, program, are distance classes, this face-to-face -face class gives the students a chance to get to know each other and start building those relationships, which often last beyond the semester. The KR graduates epitomize the new face of the profession, and alumni have received numerous um, uh, state and national recognition. They're active in professional associations, um, and many hold manage, uh, management uh, duties in their current positions. The current scholars are really encouraged to continue that, that uh, legacy of leadership from the pre uh, previous scholars. So just in conclusion, uh, today's LAS professionals must be prepared to meet the diverse uh, needs of our multiple and distinctive uh, constituencies. And the future of our profession depends on us being able to change 
to reimagine the face of our profession and this will only be achieved by purposefully growing a diverse a workforce fostering cultural fluency across the profession and the knowledge river program is an example of that.